Hi, Carla. Hi, how are you? Here, uh, with, uh, I want to, to, uh, uh, to ask or apologize because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, came into my house in this moment, so uh, I have my diner in front of me. <laughs> uh, Rafael, is there a problem if, if I eat in, uh, in the middle of the Yes. <laughs> Go ahead and drink your meal. Don't worry. Drink your meal. It's okay. Enjoy. I think milk uh, was for almuerzo. Huh? Meal. No. Meal is just what you're eating to comida. Meal. Your meal. Thank you. food. Enjoy your meal. Alimento. Thank you. Yeah, that's the word. Okay. We're about to start. Give me just one second. One second, guys. Hey. What's the name of your dad, Rita? Okay, so how's it going, guys? What have you been up to? Oh, that's another question. What have you been up to? Remember, what have you been up to today? Okay, we're nine, let's start the class. So, how's it going? Anybody? A volunteer. Yeah. You're eating. I, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Alvin. Go ahead. Marvin. Okay, hello. Yes, I, I was feeling good, right? Tired, but um, it was ended. Okay. You were feeling good. You have been feeling good, but tired. Tired. Have you been working? Yes, a lot. Hey, they just said they just said that we will continue without live classes uh, for another, I don't know how many months, but for a long time, right? Yes. Till December 31st, the Ministry of Education. She just mentioned that we're not going back to classrooms. For a long time. Mm -hmm. Until the next year. That is right. I'm just doing something funny here. I'm not. Hello. Okay. Okay. So talk to me, guys. How do you feel today? What's the deal? What's the deal? What's yeah, the deal? very good. Perfect. Very good. Yes. I, it was a, a nice day. A very, very productive. Very productive day. Why? Very productive because uh, have a, a many uh, solutions. Have a, a advance uh, with my work. Uh, make uh, very very things to do, and I'm very uh, satisfied. 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 Exactly. Today. Okay. Very fast today. You're very satisfied with your labor today. Okay. That's great. Uh, remember, job with your job. Okay, let me try it. Let me try something really quick here. Maybe it works. I don't know. I want to start with uh, 
a saying that I made some time ago. Let me see if it can be read. No, it's not gonna work. Okay, no, it's not gonna work. Yeah. So no, I will just show it to you. So I want to start this session with something that actually changed my life some years ago. Yeah, there it is, okay. So I want you to think for a minute about this. Okay, read it, think about it. Perfection is just an illusion that worth pursuing. Keep it in mind that you'll never reach it to avoid frustration. This was uh, this was said by okay. So I was ten years old. I was ten years old when I thought about this because my ma my grandma my grandma used to tell me all the time, hey. No matter what you do, if you're cleaning uh, the floor of a company, if you are cooking for someone, if you are painting a room, or you are to become a, a boss, you always have to give your best. So I thought about this. I was 10 years old. And that's why number 10 is my favorite number, actually. That's my favorite number. I use it on my shirt sometimes. So what do you think? What do you think about this? Perfection is just an illusion. It's worth pursuing, keeping in mind that you'll never reach it to avoid frustration. Okay, so I'm opening a discussion right now. If you want to participate, let me know your thoughts. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think? Is there perfection? Does it exist? Can somebody be perfect or is there a perfect product? Uh -huh. mm. Once a boss of mine talked to me and the words was this. You never will be, uh, you, you never um, will be, will be a perfect man, but you can try to be um, an excellent man. So, um, you, you, uh, my mission is try to to find the excel the excellence, not the perfection. Okay. Okay. Good. Perfect, only God. <laughs> only God's perfect, okay. Okay. Somebody else? Great, thank you, Alvin. Enjoy. Yeah, uh, my father said something uh, similar, like your grandmother. Or, uh, he told me uh, that uh, no matter what you do, but you have to do the best of you of you can and that's the point point. Uh, and he repeat repeat me a lot of uh, the practice make the masters uh, okay yeah i have many many memories about uh, Como puedo decir esa época? That time. About that time. About that time, exactly. Okay. Good, great job, Frank. So, do the best you can. Do the best that you can. No, do the best you can. Practice makes perfect. Okay, that's a saying, actually. That's a saying, right? So, hmm. make makes the master. Practice makes the master. Yeah, but the the saying. Ah, okay. Practice it, practice it, makes perfect. So the more you and you can tell by Michael Jordan, for example, if you know his story, you know he used to practice. Exactly. 
two thousand times a day, you know, practicing heat. Um, and Mus musicians, musicians, artists, artists. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo, yeah, Ronaldinho. Ronaldinho. I think he's better. Okay. Abigail. Ronaldo Nazario. <laughs> Hello, Abigail. Hello, Saida. Carla. Hello. Okay, girls, come on. Girls work. Uh, I think uh, about the perfection. Uh, yesterday, I I saw a post about the, the this this word, and but in the issue of relation relationship. So, and the post say that nobody is perfect because currently uh, we can. Uh, Look, look for a uh, people or uh, a person that maybe uh, couldn't be a uh, perfect, perfect. But um, sometimes when we are inside a rela relationship, we we can fall in a frustration about the when we know the uh, person. And we can see that this person is not uh, too, perf too perfect that we imagine. I don't know if I if you understand me. Yeah, I totally understood you. So you don't you cannot tell if this person is as perfect as you expected. As perfect as you expected, this person. Yeah, this person as no. You, you cannot, what did I say? <laughs> you can't <laughs> see if this person is as perfect as you expected. As perfect as you expected. Okay, I'm gonna write it. Um, as perfect as, let's say one expects, expected. Uh, okay. This third person, okay, as okay. as one expected. Tan perfecto como uno esperaba. Se puede hablar de yeah. como uno esperaba. So, okay. you will find this word, this, this way of talking. This is the third form of speaking. To talk about yourself in a figurative way. For example, in the Bicentennial Men, in the Centennial, Robin Williams, he talks a lot about himself as one and he says one is at your service he says that a lot Uno está a su servicio. one is at <laughs> so i'm just letting you know have you seen that movie have you seen that movie no yes centennial man i think it's the name i can remember yeah okay el hombre bicentenario yes i see I saw, I saw that movie. One of my favorite movies. Okay. Great so, movie. And I, I agree with you, Abigail. You create expectations about everything, about people. You expect from people a lot. Yeah. Um, but you never think about giving, about giving. And that's difficult. So be careful because, yes, you can, be, you can get frustrated. Yeah. And right now, exactly. Learn in English. You set you set some expectations before the course. You set some expectations to yourself and from me, from your teacher. You said, "I hope my teacher is a gringo." <laughs> no, <laughs> come on. I hope my teacher. teacher is a woman. Some of the guys, right? <laughs> So I, I'll never miss a class. As a woman, I will never miss a class. Okay, I uh, just said, I expect my English classes to be very dynamic, you know, to be very positive. Or from yourself, from yourself, be careful with this. You said, I expect I will give my best. I will learn English. I will learn English. And suddenly you go like, oh, man. <laughs> It's okay. I don't know. Don't get frustrated, okay? 
Okay, one more person. What do you think about this? I, I never listened to Saida talking. Um... Sure. No. I don't try to be a perfectionist because for me it's very stressful. So I try to do my thing as low as low. Okay. So that means that you don't expect too much from yourself. Okay, that means that you don't expect too much from yourself. Oh, mm -hmm. expect too much. You expect too much from yourself. So you, that's, that's self-esteem, okay? Be careful with that, Saida. That is self-esteem. Wait, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Hello. Yes, Gabriel. Gabriel, can you hear me? Uh, I think, uh, in my case, I think we are not perfect, but we can make things better with our positive attitude. Attitude, attitude, perfect. A attitude, huh? And it could be uh, the key to improving. <laughs> uh, improving. Well, is I'm falling. <laughs> I know this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, improving our work. I think that is hmm, so better. It's better if you're you stay positive all the time. Yes. So, how do you balance? How do you balance this? Um, eager when you are eager to be the best <clears throat> when you are eager to achieve when you are eager to achieve more every day you're pushing yourself you're pushing yourself and you tell yourself you can do this i can do this i can do this hey I'm well, what did what did mind there's consistency consistency Consistency, yeah, discipline. But the point is, when you're eager, you can get frustrated if you don't, you are not careful. So, in order to avoid frustration, you have to remember all the time. You have to keep in mind that you will never be perfect. You will never reach. Never be perfect. You will so, never be perfect. It's, it's better to be happy. Right? This makes you. Think about one thing, that you are human. And as human, you will never be perfect. Only God's truth is perfect. But at the same time, trying to be perfect will be closer, as Gabriel said, it will take you closer to your goal. So always try to do the best. Try to do the best. And always ask to yourself, is this the best that I can do? All right. Okay. Always ask to yourself, is this the best I can do? Okay. And then use re-engineering. Okay. Does that sound, does that ring any bell? Re-engineering, anybody? Yes. Yeah. Reinvent. Reinvent. I I will add uh, quality. With quality, all you can do. Uh, everything that you do, do it. Yeah, everything you, you can do. Yeah. Do it with quality. Yes, yeah. that's the point. I mean, you know what? Put put some love on everything that you do. Think about it like, for example, one thing that helped me becoming a manager in the past was that I used to take care of the academy like if it was mine. So if I noticed that a projector was failing, I used to go and clean it, you know, repair it. And it, be it didn't belong to me. If I noticed that the place, the classroom was dirty, was filthy, I used to go and clean, you know, just see things as if they were your things. It's not your company, but think about it. 
think about it every day. This is my company. I have to make it succeed. And one day, your boss will notice you. He will see you. He will go like, wow, you take care of my house. Let me take care of you. You got it? You take care of my house. Let me take care of you. You following? Yeah. Teacher, one more thing. Uh, to avoid frustration, uh, we have to, to project realistic goals. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. Oh. Smart goals. Project yeah. goals every year. Every year. For plan planning, planning your life. Planning your life is something that they don't teach at school, right, Frank? Exactly. Smart goals. Okay. Smart goals. That's very important. Google it. Google it. If you don't know what's a smart goal, Google it. You're going to have fun. You're going to have fun finding more about this. Okay. Questions. Questions. Huh? Any questions? Any question? No questions. Okay. Strive for excellence. Strive. What is the meaning of strive? <laughs> Thank you, Frank. <laughs> strive. Fight. Fight. Okay. Keep pushing for it. Pushing for excellence. It's like every day you have to strive to become better. To strive to to study more. Okay. And yep. Yeah. And sometimes Fight you for your rights. Your what? Fight for your rights to be happy. Fight for your rights. Fight for excellence. Yeah. It's like every effort, the effort that you make every day. Eager. What is eager? Um something like ansioso, algo así. Excellent. Anxious. anxious. When you're anxious, like you know. Passionate, anxious more like passionate. You really want to, to achieve that goal, you want it, okay? You're hungry, you're hungry for that goal. You want to achieve, what is achieve? When you can do something. <laughs> when you what? When you can uh, do or make something. Ah, close, you want to reach. Reach something. To reach something. Mm -hmm. That's achieve. Okay? You can have achievements in life. And push. English. Push. When you force something. To what? I'm sorry. How do you go? When you force so something. Exactly. But by force, you put pressure you put pressure yeah, i knew it was the one that's okay you put pressure on something you put pressure on something and in this case i was using it to yourself for example if you want to learn english you need a pushy a pushy teacher your teacher has to be very pushy with you always pressuring you come on do the homework come on repeat well do it well. Repeat again and don't stop. You know, that's the way. Okay? So, la perfección es solamente una ilusión que vale la pena perseguir manteniendo en mente que nunca lo vas a alcanzar para evitar la frustración. Y de esta manera vas a dar lo mejor de ti. Todo lo que hagas. Okay? So, that's perfection. Good phrase. Good phrase. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. And I was 10 years old. Imagine. Always in the mind. Amazing. Amazing. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I loved it. You know, I love <laughs> that I could make it. Some people call me crazy when I was little, but, you know, that's just the way it is. There will always be detractors in your life. People who, who will tell you, no, you're not going to learn English. What are you doing in that course from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m.? Right? <laughs> That's crazy. Don't go to these classes. You will never learn English. Hey,
Haters. Haters. Yeah, haters. <laughs> the word. Detractors. Detractors. Yes. Okay. It's better to have all believers. Is it better to have followers, believers? All believers. All believers. <laughs> that is. There is. That's the word. Okay, guys. Today we have to continue with um, the topic. Yesterday's topic. There's a lot of content still to work on. And yesterday we finished with the beginning of this new topic. So you read this. Today you will be able to recognize the components of the place and promotion strategies of a famous national product or service. Now, I didn't find a famous national product or service that works on their marketing campaign with you know uh, a lot of strength you know so i i will give you an example of an international uh brand which is very recognized and we will talk about it yesterday we closed the class uh, talking about two questions what is the process of moving products from the producer to the intended user code how do you call that process of moving one thing to another place what was it Distribution. 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 Here you go. Thank you, friend. Distribution. So how important is placement to reaching the right target audience? I will say for reaching the right target audience. How important is placement if you want to reach the right target audience? Can somebody give us the, the answer that you gave yesterday? The place, the place can give you a status for the product. You are the product. Yes, or, or the need are we are looking for. Mm -hmm, that we are looking for. Yeah, if you find the right niche, man, you are done, you are set. If you yeah. find the right niche, you are set. They're all set. You will not, it will be an effortless, listen, it will be an effortless campaign, a marketing campaign, an effortless marketing campaign, because everything will be served. Everything will be served for your product to be sold. The product sells only or sells alone? The product sells itself alone? It's I don't know. Beautiful, so by itself. By itself, mm -hmm. uh, the product will sell by itself. I love that. Great job. Okay, so that's the importance of the placement. Where are you going to sell the product? Is that the best location? Okay, so before we move on, we have to practice a conversation. I will read the conversation first and then split the class so you can practice. Okay, or actually, let's do something different. Because the, the main target here is for you to talk, not me. So let me have someone, let's see, da, 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 um, Jacqueline, and I need a man. I need a hero. Hey, Frank. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline and Frank. So, thank you. Thank okay. you. Okay. Jacqueline, you're Sophia, friend, you're Arnold. Okay, ready, go. Okay, I would like to sell training course online. I have developed a field, but I am not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could set your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking, from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Excellent. Very good. Okay. 
Repeat. Courses. 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 Nope. Cor cor courses. Okay. That's the first word. Courses. <clears throat> yes, because if you say cor, if you say courses, means maldiciones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but not now. <laughs> so, without the O, it's curses. Okay. And curses. Yeah, I, when somebody tells you, curse you, I curse you, you know. Okay. Course. Courses. Online courses. Training courses. Okay. Courses. Cor courses. Okay. The next one is advantage. Where was it? Oh, advantage. Okay. You have to take advantage, 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 yeah, advantage of access, advantage of access. advantage, repeat, advantage of access, advantage of access. You're saying tash, it's tash, advantage, advantage. There you go, Ahora, advantage of access. Quinto fresa, advantage. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Advantage of access. Better. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to say from now on a little fancier. Okay. Not present. A little fancier. Okay. Good. And the next one. Awareness. Where is it? Awareness. This is great because you can create awareness. Awareness about your product from social. And that's the last one. Social. So awareness. Okay. What is the meaning of awareness? Create consciousness in people. Make them aware. <laughs> Make them conscious that the product exists in this case. About your product. So they go like, oh, I didn't know that you have this product. That's good. Okay. Awareness about your product from social, repeat, social, social. 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 Yeah. Now, social networking. Social networking. There you go. Sites and create in the courses so that people will buy them. Okay, there you have. I'm gonna send you that image right now. I'll split the class so we can practice this conversation for a few minutes and then move on with the topics, okay? Questions? No more questions? Okay. No. Good. Let me split the class right now so we can practice, practice, practice a lot. In pairs. We are 12, so let's make four. And I'm just going to make, uh, oh, well, I do four. Let me see six. Three. Okay. It's going to be three of us. Okay. Let's go. The market today is in offered. Uh, I don't know. I just see the, the brand and I say, hmm, for Gabriel, and I'll buy it. Oh, thank you. I'll buy it. Yeah. Well, okay. this is the. Okay. Aleda. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello, okay. Do you want to be Sophia? Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm Arlo. Exactly. Okay. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like sh like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your trying courses. Online, people are always using their, their phones 
to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the course in courses so that people will buy, will buy them. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Go ahead. Okay. Aleda. Again. Uh, do you want to be Arnold and I will be Sophia? Okay. Okay. I would like to sell training <laughs> I would like to sell training <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, you can. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Go. Be serious. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of, of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from so social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Buy them. Excellent. Very good. Okay, really quick. Let's, uh, yes. Let's go ahead and correct a few little things. Really quick. Okay, do you see the word document? Yeah. Okay, repeat. Develop. The develop. Look, develop. 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 Excellent. Alida? Develop. Develop. Ope. Develop. Develop. Okay. Now, guys, on intermediate, try to speak more natural. What do, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what you do you mean? mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Leda? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Excellent. What do you mean? What do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. If it, if it was what did you mean? What did you mean? What do you mean? What do you? What, what do you mean? 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 What do? Since this is a do, right? What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. Again, natural. You say serve. You say serve. What do you mean? You say serve. You say serve. 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 Serve the website. Okay. There. You guys keep doing this. You keep saying there. No, it's there. The same pronunciation. There. 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 Next word. Create. Right. There. Right. There. Create. 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 This one. Create. Interest. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Alida. Interest. Or interesting. Perfect. Very oh, good. Interesting. Okay, you don't want me to see your face today, right, Alida? Okay, good. Okay. Teacher, I look like I'm dying. <laughs> 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 That's why I turned off my camera. I have allergy, teacher. Oh my god. Okay, be careful. Okay, guys, please continue practicing. I'll have to go to another group. Okay, great job. Thank you. Okay. Put the audio. Uh -huh. Or listen the pronunciation. To develop. develop. Or listening to the pronunciation. Develop. To listen to the pronunciation. To listen to the pronunciation. Developed. 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 I don't like that. Developed. Developed. It's loped, developed. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So you're developed. So I can listen to you. 
Okay. Uh, Carla and Saida. <laughs> Carla, uh, Sofia, Saida, Arnold. Okay. Uh, I would okay. like to sell to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take an advantage uh, of access. What do you mean by access? You will sell your training course online. People are always using their phones to serve the awareness of Well, in the course that so that people will buy them. Okay, perfect. Now let's do Frank with um, Carla. Okay, I'm going to be Sophia. Okay. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are, are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Perfect. Okay, very good. Really quick, uh, let's go ahead and get a little feedback here. Um, see the Word document there? So, yes. you said advan I don't know, advantage, 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 advantage. Advantage, advantage, okay. Uh, and also, sometimes we don't pluralize the words. Uh, you can say course instead of courses. 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 Yeah. Courses. Uh -huh. Courses. Uh, something that everybody, everybody is doing this. You guys are saying there, there, uh -uh. and it's the same pronunciation as there. There. Ah, uh, there. Is there a problem? There problem. There issue. Okay, one more thing. You're saying I yeah. I not look at me. I not sure. Uh -uh. Um, 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 um. I'm not sure. Um, um, I'm not sure. Sure. There you. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. sure. Um, I'm not sure. Uh huh. Surf. So try to be more natural. And instead of surf, surf. You say surf, 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 website, surf. surf. They surf the website. They surf the website. That's fancy a, word. Fancy word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One last thing. Try to just to, to be more natural, right? There's a word, a question there that says, "What do you mean?" Okay. What do you mean? So you say, "What do you mean?" What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? What do you? What do you, what do you mean by access? What do you mean by access? What, what do you mean? 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 Now let's say that this was in past. This was in past. What did you mean? What did you mean? What did you mean? What did you mean? What do 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 you mean? When you said this and that. Okay. Good. What do you mean? Hey, please keep practicing. I'm going with another group, okay? Okay. Okay. It's great because, oh no, teacher is here. This is great. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do the detector very quickly. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interesting in the courses so that people will buy them. Okay, okay. 
Let's start again, okay? Give me an example. What do you got? What do you got? Josue, go with Eunice. Three, two, one, go. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually irrelevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web to learn many things. This is a great because you can create awareness about your product for social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that the people will buy them. Great. Okay. Would you like to read again, Maria, or are you okay? What do you think? Yeah, Maria. <laughs> but I am Sophia. <laughs> ah, really? <laughs> I will be Arnold. Let me try to be Arnold this time. Uh, where, where is it? Hold on. Let me pull up the thing here. Okay, ready? So I am Arnold. One, two, three, let's go. I would like to sell training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually relevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training courses online. People are always using their phones to surf the web and learn new things. This is great because you can create awareness about your product from social networking sites and create enough interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's a good argument, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Okay, guys. Let's... You, you, you don't breathe? <laughs> yeah. You didn't. Yeah, it was not breathing. Okay. So, let's see. Um, Eunice, repeat. Should. Yeah. Should. Like, should. Should. Uh -huh. Without the L. Should. Ah, okay, should. That's the way, should, you should, you should. should. We should, they should. Okay, um, Josue, say think. 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 Ah, with T, think. Think. Uh, yeah, with, with a, without T. Uh -huh. Without T, yeah, you say think. think. Every time you have a TH at the beginning of a word, it becomes a Z, so really? you think, 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 think. Okay. okay. Like, I, thought, like, for example, I oh, know. Uh, thought, for example? Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Think about other words. Thought. Okay. Thunder. Thunder. Ah, thunder. Yeah. Thong, thong. Thunder. T-H. <laughs> uh, hey, advantage. 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 There you go. Teach, teach, teach. You say it like this, something like that. Teach, teach. Advantage. Advantage. Okay? But fancy. Advantage. 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 Okay. What do you mean? What do you mean? Ah. What do you mean? 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 What do, you what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean about? Let's say that this this was in past. What did you mean? So here you will say, what do you? What do you mean? What do you mean? Instead of what do you will say what do? You? <laughs> okay, what? That's more natural. Okay, what do? You, what do you mean? What do you mean? Got it? Yeah. Say it. Okay. Next, interest. Interest. And you were saying, you were saying interested. No. It says that will create more interest, more interest towards your product. Okay. Interest. 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 Okay. Good. Let me see if I'm missing. Yeah, I'm missing one group. So please do it again. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Enough interest, interest in the courses so that people will buy them. Okay. Then, Bertha no. is Sofia and I. Yeah, Arnold. Arnold. Okay. I would like to start training courses online. I have developed a few, but I'm not sure if I should get a place like a store to sell them. I think the place is actually relevant. You have to take advantage of access. What do you mean by access? You could sell your training course online. People always use their phones to search the web and learn new things. It is great because you, you can create awareness about your product for social networking sites and create enough interest in the course so that people will buy them. Okay. Wow. Okay, really quick. That was awesome. That was really good, actually. Now, when you try to speak faster, to read faster, you may slip on some words. Let's see. Uh, I want you to be more natural, okay? Stop saying, what do you mean by, what do you mean? No, say something like, what do you, what do you mean? mean? What do you 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 mean? Sort of. Just saying. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Okay. And instead of surf, you say surf. Okay, surf. 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 Some people surf. surf. Websites. Some people surf the websites. Surf. Surf. There you go. Surf. Next. Surf. Create. 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 There you go. Create awareness. And again, you say course. 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 There you go. Okay. Done. Course. Very good. Great job, guys. Let's go back. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. Teacher. Hey. In Google, the pronunciation say advantage. Advantage. It's good. Advantage. Advantage. Okay. Advantage. Advantage. It doesn't pronounce the T, doesn't pronounce the T. Strong. Okay, let's see. Advantage. 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 Yes. Advantage. 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 Wait, wait. Advantage. 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 Yeah, it doesn't pronounce the T. The T is not pronounced when the tra translator, when Google, Google Translate. Okay, so what new words do we have? What new words do we have on this uh, lecture? In this conversation? Um, awareness. 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 What is awareness? Awareness. What is awareness? Create a con yeah. consciousness. Consciousness on people's mm -hmm. mind. Okay. Make people conscious that you that you exist or their product exists. Okay. Any other? Surf the web. Surf. Excellent. Surf the web. Okay. You can surf the web. Google it. Mm hmm. I think that's all right. There's no other. Like, when you yeah, when you, the web. when you go to. Uh, to a website in another, in another, in another. Yeah, you keep surfing and surfing. That's surfing the website, yeah. Okay. With a style. <laughs> With like what? Skype? With a style. 
Oh, with style, with style, with style, yeah. Let's not surf with style. Okay, let's move on. Now, let's move on. Uh, reading here, I mean, some questions about reading that you just did. Don't get dizzy, don't get dizzy. Okay. Okay. Good, so. This is new. <laughs> looking at the conversation, uh, let's answer these questions below. What does Sophia want to sell? Online courses. Courses online. Online. Courses online. Training courses. She wanted to sell training courses. She wanted to sell training. Training courses. Okay. What isn't she sure about? 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 Uh huh. To get the place to like a store. Yeah, to get a place to sell her products, right? Her training courses that she's like hesitant. She's not sure about doing that. Great job. Okay, what are Arnold's recommendations? That she used their, the, the, the cell phone and surf the web. Maybe you use the technology. Use technology, sell the courses online. Let me tell you a brief story really quick. This place that you see, uh, Inglés Corporativo, I've worked here for four years and my boss, okay, always thought that El Salvador was not ready for this, for online courses. Uh, and he was right. He was right. Back in 2016, he was like, no, 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 online courses, you know, no, El Salvador is not ready. We don't have enough bandwidth. You know, what is bandwidth, Ancho de Banda? We didn't have enough bandwidth. There were not enough people uh, with cell phones, with smartphones back then, with laptops, you know, so technology wise, Technology wise and knowledge wise, pay attention, technology wise, knowledge wise, we were not ready. What am I saying? Technology wise, knowledge wise. Somebody. One, two, one, two, one, two. I didn't hear you, teacher. <laughs> I think it's only gadget, right? Uh, what? I'm sorry, Josue? Mm -hmm. Gadget. Gadget? I think. Yeah. I, I can't remember what's oh. gadget. I was saying technology. Okay. Yeah. Wise. Mm, it's not taking it. Technology wise. Maybe with a dash. Okay, separated. Okay. Technology wise. wise. Like sabiduría or what no? Yeah, in the sense of mm. In the sense of knowledge, in the sense of technology, we are not ready. Uh, okay. Abigail. Abigail, I'm not ready, money-wise, to invite you some pupusas. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. That's the first thought I got. I'm sorry. I'm not ready money-wise to invite you some pupusas. That means I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money. <laughs> money-wise, okay? Okay, so it means that I'm in lack of something. In that something, money-wise. Okay. So, continuing with that uh, presentation. So, he said that we were not ready. And now we have to go, what did we say by force? Um, we have to push the program online and it hasn't been easy. I have to tell you guys, this is this two hours to prepare for this two hours is a big effort. So we have to strive every day. Teachers, we have to strive every day 
to prepare the classes, make sure you are here. So, and I know that you have to do a sacrifice as well in order to be here. So we understand. Okay, it's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock on a Saturday. Piano man. <laughs> there you go. Okay, let me do the roster first before we move on. And find you first. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Please say here if you are here. If not, stay quiet. Carla Eugenia Molina Barraza. Here. Marvin Josue Aguilar Martinez. Marvin, Josue, Martinez, we lost them. We lost them. We lost connection. Alexander Rodriguez Guzman. Here. Here. Is uh, Bertha Patricia Amanda Argueta. Here, teacher. Is Mene Abigail Trejo Hernandez. Here. Xiomara Hernandez de Linky. No. Okay. Alvin Jose Silva Romero. This is me. Mm. Maria Elena Tamayo Ventura. No. Okay. Eunice de la Paz Jimenez. Here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Jonathan Alexander Castillo Ramos. No. Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado Caldron. Thank you. Here. Jose Ernesto Molina Guzmán. Melissa Yvette Aguilar Flores. Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Here as usually. As usual. Thank you, Saida Carolina Hernandez Flores. Here. Thank you, Saida. Walter Abraham Hernandez Sanchez. Okay. Francisco Adrian Martinez Villalobos. Here, teacher. Maria Soledad Gomez. Here, teacher. Mesa Alexandra Ortiz Cedillos. And Aleida Raquel Vasquez Unsin. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being teacher, here. Teacher, what homework uh, we, we have to finish? What homework you have to finish? Hmm. Being honest with you, oh my god, I didn't check the website. To point 14 or to point 12? The discussion forum. I didn't check the discussion forum, guys. Can somebody help me? What's the point where we are right now? What's the uh, topic number? Uh, two point. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think 2.9. We are on, you should be on homework 2.8, up to 2. Point. Ah, okay. And then I do it. Teacher, may I take this? Um, please. Yes, go ahead. It's my mom. It's my mom, please. Go ahead. And the question was, may I take this phone call? Okay. May I take this phone call? Yeah, that's the way. Okay, so yes, Gabriel, you should be on homework 2.8 where you use fast with, I'm sorry, adjectives plus enough. And after today, you can do homework 2.11 because, yeah, that has to do with Let's see, bad strategy, good strategy. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that has to do with product strategy. Oh no, that's tomorrow, how to use. No, that's today, how to use enough with nouns. We have to talk about promotion strategies, still like promotional gifts, media promotion, customer service, giveaways and samples, products and sale that already expired. Hmm. Okay, there are some topics that we haven't covered. So, after today, you should be able to go to 2.11. Good, let's move on, guys.
Okay, continuing, I'm gonna play the video that I played yesterday so we can continue with the topic um, regarding the components of the place. Now, I want you to take notes. Please listen to the accent of this woman, women, this woman who actually talks in this video. I think it's very impressive and you can actually get, get more vocabulary. You can get more vocabulary on this video, okay? So I'm gonna share the video with you. And please pay attention. Trivago is a website that allows visitors to search and compare hotel prices, read customer reviews, and browse photos. The company claims to be the world's largest hotel search engine and helps customers compare prices available in 250 booking sites. Chances are they can save money comparing multiple listings. The idea behind this product is original and complicated. That's why the firm's marketing team has run integrated marketing campaigns delivering the same message to customers. Our site allows you to save money when you book a hotel room. TV ads show various steps of the process, which helps customers gain an idea of how to use the product. Billboards and banners display an image of people who have booked rooms in the same hotel, but at different prices. This Berlin-based firm also used radio ads that read Trivago does the work for you and compares prices of hundreds of websites. So, we can say Trivago used an integrated marketing approach. Its promotional messages were consistent. Its promotional messages were consistent across all advertising channels and share the same objective. These efforts helped the brand establish an online presence and introduce itself to consumers across the world. If the company hadn't done that, millions of potential customers wouldn't have learned about its services. As you probably guessed, the fourth P we will examine now is promotion, which is essentially the art of communicating a product's benefits to customers and convincing them to acquire the product once, or ideally, a repeated number of times. We already know the three degrees of brand loyalty, right? Awareness, preference, and insistence. Marketing communication revolves around the three, Customers must know a product exists. Once they do, we need to convince them it is better than competitor products so they can develop a preference. In the best case scenario, customers who prefer the product will understand its features well, which will develop informational awareness, and that will make them able to explain its benefits to other customers. Continued purchasing of a product, brand insistence, is the goal of promotional communication. It occurs when customers link a product with their own lifestyle. The feeling of personal connection turns repeated customers into raving fans. Okay, raving fans. Raving fans, I like that word. Okay, so if you reach brand preference, let me turn on the turn off the captions here and go back a little bit. No, it's not going away. Okay, there is. Brand awareness, brand preference, and brand insistence. So first you make the customer aware that your product exists, and then they become, let's say, addicts. <laughs> That's ideally the, the goal that you should pursue, right? And your customers become addicts to your uh, brand, and then loyalty comes with insistence. I mean, they will always select your product if they really liked it because you already con convinced them that your product is better than the competitor's product. Now, there are occasions when you don't have competitors. Is that, is that right? Can you not have competitors on the market? Somebody give me an example. Okay, no, let's go with the words. Any new words on the video? Teacher. What is the meaning, for, meaning of acquire? Acquire, to obtain. It's a synonym of obtain, gain, get. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ideally. Ideally, that is... Um, it's an adverb 
of ideal, ideal, mente. Mm -hmm. Ideally. But it's new for me. <laughs> Remember, if it has an L-Y, that makes an adjective. Uh, what did I say? An adverb. That's adverb. It Ad makes an adverb. adverb. Yeah. Converts it into an adverb. Hello, Jonathan. Welcome. The Y in the end means men. Hello, teacher. <laughs> what? Alvin? Alvin? The letter Y in the end means mente. L-Y, L-Y, yeah. Typically you will see the L-Y on an adjective and that makes it um, an adverb. Usually, ideally. Mm -hmm. Frequently. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Okay. Lovely. Tenderly. Yep. Grab, raving or raving, Correctly. I don't know. Raving fans. Raving fans, raving fans. Okay, fans, Delig deligerent, deligerent. <laughs> okay, Deli deligerent. Delirantes. Ah, deligerent. Del deligerent, that's a difficult word, yeah. Raving fans, I'm your raving fan. I'm your raving fan. Like a number one fan. Like the number one, but the most crazy. Fan the president of the club. Fanatic. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. fanatic. It could be, yeah, fanatic. Somebody, somebody who is a fanatic. Okay, any, any other words? No? Pur purchasing. 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 Yeah, purchasing. 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 Purchase. Purchasing. I like her act, actually. It's a really good action. Mm hmm Okay, any other? Uh, no? Yes, teacher, booking. Booking. Uh -huh. B-O-O-K, book, I-E. Yeah. The, the word booking refers to airlines and hotels. It's a synonym of reservation. Oh, okay. You can make a phone booking or online booking to, okay. to the, for the future, so in a month, you have to book a hotel for a month from now. Okay, thank you. Hmm? Observation. Any other? No. It was a lot of words. Okay. Good. If there are no more words, let no more words to say, let me continue with the presentation. So what is next? What comes after this? Okay, um, yes. I understood if a brand um, appears too many times in the eye of the niche, uh, the brand uh, gets um, conscious uh, of their existence in the, in the public. Yeah, your niche of market will become aware that your product exists if you continue in constantly, I mean, how many times? Example, Tribago, Tribago appears too many times in the TV uh, three years ago, four years ago, and you can you can um, uh, change the, the channel and appears again the, the, the promo of Tribago. Yes, the the spot the, the spot. The, oh. I say this too many times. <laughs> right. <Tribago. laughs> Yeah, but if you think about it, that's smart. I mean, what do you prefer? Would you rather would you rather go one by one with the hotels that you find in Madrid at the place where you're going to stay? Would you go one by one with the hotels asking by phone or going on their website if they have a website? Or would you just go to one page and compare all the prices? I mean, it's a benefit. It's a beneficial. It's a benefit. It's a benefit. Tribago is uh, when the the CEO um, left the no, put off no put off. Renunció? Do you say renunció? He quit. He quit. Dismiss. No, it's been dismissed. No. Is that they let you go if you're dismissed? Oh, okay. But if you quit, he quit. Yeah, he quit. 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 Uh, 
he quit. The place because Trivago uh, lost ninety percent of the money because uh, because this this pandemic. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Okay, let's go with the marketing mix. Um, let's talk about the place. So we already talked about product. We talked about price. We're talking about promotion little by little, but there are, there are some parts that we haven't covered about promotion, I will say. And those are on your exam on 2.11. Uh, branded promotional gifts. What do you think? This is more like you have to be very uh, logic on your answers. Think logically. What is good? Is, is promotional gifts are a good strategy or a bad strategy? A good promotion. Good strategy. Why, Frank? Because uh, all people like gift. And it, all people. yeah, you're right. You are totally right. We love gifts and we love. Uh, Promotion. Uh, we love gratification. Gratif gratification. When somebody tells you, hey, good job. Oh my God, you're awesome. You're like, oh, okay, thank you, right? And for <laughs> you feel good. Yeah, many banks, many banks use that. They give you promotionals like uh, cups, mugs, calendars, and Squeeze. what? Squeeze. right? <laughs> Squeezes, yes. Mox, a little bottle of old whiskey? Yes. Uh, mm, no, but the point is that it has it has to have your brand. Your brand is on the promotional. Exactly. That goes to the customer's brand mind. And that's your goal, remember? Okay, lack of social media promotion. Is that a good strategy or bad strategy? You don't have social media promotion. Bad. That's bad, right? That's bad. After sale customer service. Remember after sale service? Is it good to contact your customer and hey, did you like the product? Was the service good? Um, are you still using it? Do you need more product? Is that a good strategy or a bad strategy? It's good a strategy. Good strategy. Okay. Product giveaways and samples. This is where, where I have a question for you. Where do you do this? Where do you give away product samples? In a it's focus group. In Price Mart. A focus group. Perfect. Focus group. We haven't talked about focus groups. Price Mart, the place, but when, in what stage of the marketing mix will you add the product giveaways? In the beginning and the promotion. Yes, at the beginning. The they get to know your product. Very good. Okay. Good strategy. It's a good strategy. Products on sale already expired. Bad. No. <laughs> bad strategy. Bad, bad, bad. What about about to expire? What do you say when you find the yogurt, the yogurt at the supermarket on offer because you can get four for one little yogurt and they're about to expire in one week. <laughs> do you buy them? No. I no. do. I do. Yes, that's a good offer. <laughs> it's your life. If you want to die, okay, do it. <laughs> okay, that's just an example. Don't do it. Okay. Okay. And then you have some sentences using the information in parentheses, so demand channels of distribution. The place strategy. Okay, what do you think? You have to rewrite the place strategy. The channel of distribution. Okay. Yeah. Demand. Demands, okay, yeah, demand. Enough channels of distribution. Thank you. Channels of distributions. 
Here you have to use what we have seen so far. And this is the topic today, enough channels. So enough goes before the noun with a noun. And if you use an adjective, right, it goes after the adjective. Remember, fast enough, ugly enough, cheap enough, expensive enough. But if it is a noun, it goes before the noun. Okay, demands enough channels of distribution. Now here, don't forget, capitals, lowercase, and there's a dot here, so you don't have to type the dot. Our products offer features. Offers. Minimum. Enough. Offers mm. enough. Very good. Offers enough okay. features. Just be careful with that, with the spelling as well. And benefits. Okay, that's just to give you an idea, okay? And then you have the other three, it's simple. And this is exercise number 2.11, so you can complete it. I have a question, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, we have to uh, write the complete sentence or only the, the phrase? The way we're doing it, Frank. Here, offer, look at me, look, look what I'm doing. Okay. Features, so you just add, this here, okay. And Only complete, okay. Offers, yes, just the way you said, offers okay. enough features and benefits, and that's it. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, keep in mind this. There's a dot, you see the little period? There's a period here, so you don't need to rewrite the period. It's not necessary. You don't need capitals because the sentence already started. So always okay. analyze those things when you're doing the um, online homework. Okay, let's continue. So what do you think? Um, okay, and that's the next topic, enough with nouns. And I have a challenge for you today. Um, one second. I don't know why this thing is doing this. So let's go with a reading and we were on that part actually oh sorry one second is it i lost it i'm sorry marketing mix okay so moving on with the topic guys let's talk about the promotion really quick and then we will move on to the next part of the marketing mix so i need to read this really quick for you so we can move on. The last element of the marketing mix is the place, also called placement or distribution. So it has three different names. This is the products and methods used to bring the product or service to the customer. That's the place. Where are you going to sell it? In this section, we will take a look at an introduction of place, distribution channels, and intermedi intermediaries intermediaries making channel decisions managing distribution channels the impact of the marketing mix on place and an example of Dell computers distribution strategy okay so let's go with the introduction in the marketing mix the process of moving products from the producer to the intended user is called place as we saw before in other words it is how your product is bought and where it is bought. This movement could be through a combination of intermediary intermediaries, not an easy word, intermediaries, such as distributors, distributors, wholesalers, and retailers. Okay, wholesalers al por mayor, retailers al detalle. detalle. In addition, a newer method is the internet, which itself is a marketplace now, it's true. Selling on the internet is easier. Through the use of the right place, a company can increase sales and maintain this over a longer period of time. In turn, in exchange, this will mean a greater share of the market and increased revenues and profits. So you can have more income. Correct placement is a vital activity that is focused on reaching the right target audience at the right time. It focuses 
on where the business is located, where the target market is placed, how best the connect chat, I'm sorry, how best to connect this to, how to store goods in the interim, and how to eventually transport them. Now, if you're selling ice cream, if you're selling ice cream, for example, you need a, a freezing uh, truck, you know, a freezing truck to move them. Distribution channel is an intermediary. What is a distribution channel? It can be defined as the activities and processes required to move a product from the producer to the customer. Also, also included in the channel are the intermediaries that are involved in this movement in any capacity. Uh, they are third party companies that act as wholesalers, transporters, retailers, and provide warehouse facilities. Okay. This is a little bit too much, right? So this is a chain on how the product is moved from the producer to the wholesaler, to the retailer, and then the consumer. So when you think about this, just think from big to small, from the producer to the end user, who's going to use it at the end? And that's the consumer. Because this guy, the consumer, is not going to sell the product anymore right okay and then you have multiple terms that you should study more uh, regarding this topic okay reverse channels dual distribution okay types of intermediaries and this is on your book this link is on your book at the bottom of the pages okay and please give read this part so you can understand a little bit more and on how to work with distribution channels it's a lot let's see if there was also and you can learn a lot about that if you find any new words please let me know okay would you like me to move on with the topic and off plus downs so we can use it No me digan que se durmieron con la lectura. Guys. <laughs> Hello. No. Hello. <laughs> we here. Okay, let's I'm here. Yes. I will need glasses for this. Okay. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Alvin. Good. Let's, um where did I leave it? Hold on. I lost it. Okay, let's go with enough plus nouns, which is a very interesting topic. How are we going to do that? First, um, this is on your page. This was page 23, okay, on your book. The first uh, part that you will find on your book is how to use enough with nouns. I think it's very simple. Just keep in mind that enough goes before the noun, the opposite to the adjective as we saw before. So, enough is a word that can qualify an adverb or an adjective. It can also be used before a noun, as we're about to see. So, can you help me? Let me see who can help me here reading. I have talked too much this class. Patty? Hi. Thank you. Could you help us? Uh, let me make this bigger because it's not enough big. F11. <sighs> okay. Yes, Patricia, please. The company. The company does not have enough information about the customer to understand their, need, their needs. Thank you. We, okay. Continue, continue, Patty. No, okay. We design enough promotion to create a short term increase in sales. Thank you. Enough promotions to create, create a short term increase in sales. Thank you, Patty. That was awesome. Thank you very much. Let me see who else do we have here who hasn't talk today. Maria Gomez, please. And then we have Jonathan. 
strategy may be used to describe enough product. To distribute. Repeat, distribute. Distribute. Mm -hmm. Enough product. Enough. That's very good. And Jonathan, the last two. Hey, teacher. The store needs to sell enough items to continue in business. Uh -huh. There were not enough experts to perform the task. Very good. Enough items, items, okay, to continue in business. There were not enough experts, experts to perform the task. Very good. So these are examples of how to use enough. As we saw before, okay, we have adjective plus enough or a verb plus enough. Today, we have to study enough plus a noun. I made enough copies. He has enough money. And remember, after this, you will have a preposition, most likely. If it is four, then you need another noun. If it is two, you need a verb to continue the sentence. You see, to buy a new car for them. This is different. Okay, if you want to neglect, if you want to formulate a negative sentence, then you need not before enough, okay? And then the noun. So not enough noun. We don't have enough time. There aren't enough plates for everyone. This is very simple. What does it mean when you say enough you're talking about the correct number or amount or sufficient or as much as required, right? But when you say not enough, it means that you have less than necessary, less than sufficient or not the correct amount. Not enough time for all that I want from you. Okay, in excess. Questions? Questions, no questions? Okay, so good, you're falling asleep, I can tell, so I don't like that, bear, me, bear with me one second, I'm gonna do something right now. Let's do something to cheer you up, I'm going to cheer you up right now, okay? We are 12, I think, in the chat, so can you please, let me see, we are, we're 12, 13 now. I'm gonna start from the top. Maria Soledad Gomez, give me a verb. Uh, whatever verb, verb. Any verb. Think about a verb. Everybody, think about a verb. Um, need. Need. Okay. Berta Patricia. Yeah, you're muted. It teacher. It. Okay, good. Thank you. That's Alvin. Think. Think. Okay, thank you. Jonathan. Sing, cantar. Sing. 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 Okay, thank you. Jonathan. Sleep. Okay, thank you. Jacqueline? Uh, take. Take my breath away. Carla? Run. 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 Run, run, run. Like, okay. Thank you. Eunice? Give. 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 Give away. Okay, give. Thank you. Frank? Awake. Awake. Thank you. Abigail? Annoy. Thank you. Like that? Bye. 
Bye. Okay, Ricardo. Uh, speak. 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 Thank you. And who am I missing? Gabriel and Aleida. The right. Right. Okay, Aleida. Read. Read. Excellent. What are you doing? Okay. Okay, using enough plus nouns. So this is your task right now, okay? Your task will be using these verbs that you provided me, you need to write a short story, very short. Make it, um, it doesn't matter if you use eat or buy or speak or read, okay? But what is more important, you need to use buy enough plus a noun. Okay, so for example, I need to buy enough vegetables. I need to buy enough vegetables as I spoke, hmm, as I spoke long enough with my mother yesterday. And it was annoying because she told me she doesn't have enough money to buy her food. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you have to use all of the all of the verbs in one short story. I'm sending you right now the the image with all the verbs that you said, okay? Hello. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. What's going on, guys? Okay, chicos, les pasa algo. Los mil vienen decaídos. ¿Qué onda? No? It's Wednesday, right? I'm hungry. Hungry like a I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm tired. I want to go home. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Come on. I want to go home. I'm at home. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to split you in groups so you can do this activity. You only have 15 minutes, okay? 15 minutes to create a short story, okay? okay. It's, uh, you can do it, be creative. You know what? I'm going to create everything again. Okay, let's do it together. Let's go. Do you have the, the list of verbs? Yes. Could you please share the image, please? Okay. Teacher, send, send it, the image verb in the group. Okay. Bless you. Bless you. Thanks. Okay. So we write the story. Short story. Yes. It's the verbs. Need. It's seen. Need. 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 Need.
Is it is it difficult? Is it difficult? No, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. But you're six. I'm sorry. You're five. Think about it. using all all verbs. That's the idea. In the story. You you have ten minutes, so you're missing. Uh, so try to be creative. Do as much as you can. Okay. Okay. At the point. Plus nouns. Enough vegetables. Enough people. Enough cars. Enough. Wait. Use enough with plus and con and um and uncountables. I'm sorry. Countables and uncountables. Both. You can use both. Enough air. Enough. Time. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. Okay, teacher. Ready? Yeah. And you can share the the image of your. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, we have a a, a question. We mm -hmm. we have to use all the verbs. As much as you can, as many as you can. Okay. And remember, okay. you can use enough plus countables or uncountables. It's up to you. It is both things. You know, enough time, enough food, enough vegetables, enough books. Okay. okay. And okay. enough boyfriend, enough girlfriend. What? I have idea. Uh, An idea. Uh huh. Gabriel. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh -oh. okay. Tell me. You said, um, for example, uh, Maria needs to eat pizza, but uh, she now not enough money to buy. For example, she doesn't have enough money to buy. Maria needs to eat Sorry. pizza, <laughs> but but she doesn't. Uh -huh. have enough money to buy it. Okay, continue guys. Great job, you got the idea, right? Do as many as you can. You're still in 12 minutes, 12 minutes before we finish, okay? Okay. Um, the supermarket. I was singing. Uh, uh, hard enough or lovely enough? Lovely. Lo este, fuerte. Uh, lovely. Hard. Ah, lovely. Uh -huh. Lovely enough. I ran to the supermarket for buying some or to buy some. To buy some. To buy some. Uh, to buy some. Okay. Mm -hmm. To buy some, okay. Lovely enough. Instead for buying. Oh, yes, you can or, for buying some or to buy some. S-O-M-E, yeah, some, excellent. Okay. I was singing loud I was enough. loud enough. And people around. Annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and people um, around us. Uh, excellent. Around us. Around okay. us, yeah. Where? Where? Where and yeah, where and not. Where? Very annoyed or just annoyed? Where annoyed? Very annoyed. Annoyed. Uh -huh. Idiot. Uh huh. Annoyed. Very good. Very annoyed. Yeah. Very annoyed. In Maria, in the phone. Uh, I don't remember what is the other verb. Other verbs. Uh, write, write, read. Uh, buy, buy, speak, write, read, read and write. We need to write something about write and read. Okay. Uh, when I singing. 
S I N G singing loudly. Ah, singing. Yeah. It's signing. Um, signing. Singing. Yeah, the G goes after the N. Sing S I N G. Really? No. Say <laughs> Sing. <laughs> Sayayin, <laughs> Sayayin, Bokuku, or what? No, S. The, the N go after the G. No, before the G. Sing S I N G. I know it's S late. S I N G. Delete, delete, go backwards. Yeah, there, there. Okay, I N G G. Mm -hmm. I N G. I I I. I. No, hey, what's up? <laughs> I. <laughs> yes, I was singing G. loudly enough. Uh huh. Ah, um, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, I think in sing into to uh, firm. <laughs> Sign. Signing, mm -hmm. signing, yeah. Singing is the cantar, yeah. I feel so, so tired. Yeah, yeah. We're almost done, we're almost done. Yeah. I was signing loudly enough and people around us was, were very annoyed. Annoyed, okay. Annoyed. So, I, I decide to write um, a song. Um, <laughs> A letter for apologize. apologize. I love letter. Uh, apologize. <laughs> a little letter. <laughs> and apologize. Yeah. A little letter. With my deep apologize. <laughs> <laughs> apologize. Apologize. Uh -huh. Apologize. Apologize. Deepest apologize. With Actually, deepest apologies. So D I E S. Because you're you're pluralizing the word apology, so it should be apologize. Apology. Apologies. Apologies. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, delete. Delete Z E S. Oh, no letter with my deepest apologies. I E S. Oh, oh, oh. I E S. When you pluralize a Y, you remove the Y and you add I E S. There you go. Apologies. Now check that word. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what another verb? Read. When I read the little. By the way, it's, it's just one L. One L. One L. One L. Yeah, sorry. E S. Uh, no Z. Yeah, the I E S. There you go. Okay. Uh, the manager. Okay, keep going, guys. You're doing great. Read, read, read. Read. Read my letter. Read my letter. About Hillary. the promotion, you know, to offers, take a decision. And promotion and take a decision. Can you repeat, please? So we need to read enough. Alguien que comparta la pantalla de lo que vamos escribiendo. Yes. So, so we, we need, need to read. To read, no? About I the write. promotion or, or okay. option, I don't know, that we Offers. have. Offers and promotion and take a decision. Offer, promotion. That we have, option that we have and take a decision. We need to read enough about. A take. A take. Mm -hmm. And take a decision. 
a decision. Take a decision. And somebody could say, I will give you a website um, where is that enough of information about it. And other people, other person could say, okay, I will awake early to, to exactly. find some place. That's good. Repeat. Yeah. Uh, That's good. I will give you a website where there is enough information about it. I will give you a website. I will give you a website where there is enough information about it. Okay, I awake early. I will I will awake early tomorrow to search information in this tomorrow. website. Early tomorrow to I'm, run I will to say, run. Uh, we use the verb. I will awake. take. I will awake early tomorrow to run. No, uh, you could you could say um, I will I will awake early tomorrow to search information about it. Um, after my after run in the park, I don't know. I will say to look for information, to look for to look for information. Look for it. Mm -hmm. Or to look for information. Okay. Or you could also say to do a research. Before I run. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're doing great, guys. Thank you. This is interesting, right? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Good challenge. Okay, we're only missing two minutes. Please keep going. What is the verb uh, that we miss? In? Sleep. Give, uh, give sleep right. and sing. Sleep, sing, sing, and eat. 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 I don't. I don't can sleep thinking exactly about situation. Okay. I don't. Berta. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, can, oh, you cannot do that, but it's in future, we want, we will not, or we want, we won't we sleep will. enough, we won't sleep enough, we won't sleep, listen, we won't sleep enough hours, hours, we won't sleep hours. 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 That's enough plus a noun. Great job. Exactly. We want to sleep enough hour thinking about it. That sounds better. Sounds better. Thank you. What there is missing? It. Sing. Yeah. To buy it, okay? Yeah. Luego? Ahí donde dice she wrote, then, then she wrote a message uh -huh. to Carlos for he gave enough money. Yeah, but Carlos yeah. didn't read message because he was asleep. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. She was asleep. Uh -huh. And oh, he uh, was asleep. He was asleep. He was asleep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, Follow is um, so se, se, uh, se. so Carlos se enojó demasiado por cabole no no because uh, we uh -huh. uh, my idea my my idea is that Carlos awake awake yes. Carlos uh was no Carlos away and he um 
strong enough. <laughs> yeah. I went enough early, enough. No. No. Enough way. Oh, enough late. Demasiado tarde. To read the message. Yeah, but. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Awake, okay. Awake and no. He woke up. Later. Uh, awake. Awake. Awoke. Awoke the the past. Uh -huh. is awoke. Yes. And he awoke. He woke up. He woke up. Uh huh. He woke 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 up. Enough later to read the message. Enough late. But it would Enough late. Mm, no, you will have to say he woke up. He woke up. He woke up. Late enough. Late, late is the adjective, right? So late enough. Mm -hmm. To read the message is correct. To read the message, yes. Mm -hmm. You got it, Gabriel? <laughs> he he woke up too late to read the message. No. He he woke later late, later enough. Late enough. Late late, late enough, enough. enough. With a message to read the message. The message, yeah. Se despertó okay. lo suficientemente tarde para leer el mensaje. Late oh, enough. Okay. Mm. No. Mm. Hmm. No, no. Early enough, maybe. Yeah, yeah, early enough to to read the message. Okay. Okay, good. We have to go back, guys, to the main okay. screen. Okay. Good job. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mania. Thank you, Sofia. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we are. See, yeah, we're all back. Okay, good guys. I have to go with the roster again. Sorry, let me do the roster one more time before we finish the class. Okay, um, I have one more time. One more time, yeah. Carla, Eugenia, Molina Barraza, here, Marvin Josue, Aguilar Martinez. He's, he was feeling bad, so he had to go. Ricardo Rodriguez Guzman. Here. Bertha Patricia Lemán de Argueta. Here. Thank you. Ismenia Avi Rejo Hernández. Here. Thank you. Alvin José Silva Romero. Hello, hello. Thank you. Xiomara Hernández de Linky. No. Hey, María Elena Tamayo Ventura. And make it again. Okay. Then we have Eunice de la Here. Guardado Perón. Here. Thank you. Ernesto Molina Guzmán. Melissa Ivet Aguilar Flores. Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Here. Aida Carolina Hernández Flores. Here. Walter Abraham Hernández Sánchez. Francisco Adrián Martínez Villalobos. Here. María Soledad Gómez. Here. Vanessa Alexandra Ortiz Cedillos. En Aleida Raquel Vázquez Unzin. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. Bien, señores. Terminado el día de hoy. Eh, recordarles, por favor, que participen en el foro de discusión debajo de este video cuando lo hayan subido mañana antes del mediodía. Si no he comentado yo algo, pues ayúdenme, échenme la mano haciendo un comentario ahí eh, con respecto al tema que hayamos visto en la clase. Ese es todo el punto del foro de discusión. Eh, este día tenemos nuestra sesión de uno a uno. Si recibieron un link para poder eh, conectarse y poder 
abar, abordar temas, eh, pues, ya directamente de gramática, de algo que no entendás, de los temas que estás viendo, si querés podemos hablar también. Ahí podemos hablar inglés, español, o sea, el punto es que tú um, saques cualquier duda que tengas en este proceso de aprendizaje que estás llevando. Entonces, no tengas pena, es muy importante. Eh, puedes perder la pena, perder eh, ese miedo al, al qué voy a decir yo, si, si te vas a conectar conmigo, ya qué va a decir este, este señor, si le pregunto sobre el verbo to be, que me da miedo usarlo. O sea, no pasa nada. ¿sí? Como, como decíamos al principio de la clase, somos humanos y te tenés que equivocar. ¿sí? Si no, nunca vas a aprender. Eh, vamos a ver, eh, ¿qué más? ¿Qué más? Ah, gracias por quedarse las dos horas. Sé que no es fácil. Eh, y pues igual, una hora más, si gustan conectarse, ¿verdad? ¿Alguna pregunta? Mañana, mañana estaremos de nuevo a las 7.59. Trataré de hacer más dinámica la clase. Yo sé que ahorita estamos entrando en temas bien, como cuando vas a la U y ves los primeros temas algo aburridos y después ya empezás con lo bueno, ¿verdad? Entonces, trataré de hacer más dinámica la clase el día de mañana para que no se me duerman, ¿ok? Yo sé que están cansados. Bien. Eh, eh, Rafa. Yeah. Eh, si nos puedes decir quiénes yes. van ahora a la reunión para que todos entren ordenadamente, no. I have no idea, no tengo ni la menor idea. Pero ustedes tienen que haber recibido un link para esa sesión y el horario. Son 10 minutos, supuestamente, sí, por sí. uno. Eso sí. Ok. Bueno. Ok. Ok. Good night. So, so I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.